endocytosis. Endocytosis, just like the word represents, means in to cells. Pretty easy to remember. It's the process of where we take substances that are outside the cell and we move them in. There are three types of endocytosis. Note that all three types are types of active transport that require ATP. The first is called phagocytosis. Phagocytosis occurs when there are large particles that we must engulf. Phago actually means to eat. So think of phagocytosis as the cell membrane eating up large particles such as bacteria or large proteins in order to bring them into cells through what's known as a vesicle, a small pinched off piece of the phospholipid bilayer. Pinocytosis, the second process we will talk about, is has its root word pino, which means in Greek to drink. So literally this cell, this plasma membrane, is actually going to drink up fluids instead of solid particles that it could that could not otherwise pass through the membrane. In with this case, similar to phagocytosis, there is also a vesicle that pinches off and enters the cell to where it is needed. And then the last case of endocytosis is called receptor mediated endocytosis. Well, in this case, there are tiny little protein receptors on the outside of the membrane willing to only accept specific particles that will bind to them. When these particles bind, the membrane again pinches off into a vesicle and brings these particles or substances wherever they are needed.